the news headlines. Army to collaborate with EFCC in combating corruption and terrorism financing. Alleged 11.9 billion naira loot. Group cry out for establishment of anti graft agency in Kwara State. DSS investigates Governor Yahaya Bilo. CCTV exposes the extortion of government officials of millions of naira from independent oil marketers and readers. Corruption in the military worsening security in the nation, says ICPC. Now the news in full. Mr. Michael Unzekwe, a Loring Zonal Commander of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, in a statement has expressed willingness of the armed forces to collaborate with the EFCC in combating corruption and terrorism financing. He asserted further after his visit to the Nigerian Army at Sobi Barracks in Loring Kwara State that the Army is a critical stakeholder in the fight against corruption and terrorism financing, portraying part of the anti graft core mandate. Hence, the visit was imperative as it is expedient for the Army to join hands with other law-abiding agencies to put an end to corruption in the country. According to him, he is optimistic about the collaboration of both agencies and that the partnership would further enable them to discharge their duties properly, making Nigeria the greatest beneficiary. In a statement signed by the Secretary of the Elite Network for Sustainable Development Group, NETSU, Mr. Saeed Tijani, on the 5th of August 2022, made a call for the establishment of an anti-graft agency in Kwara State. According to him, NSU's demand followed a forensic report indicating an alleged looted fund of 11.9 billion naira from the coffers of the state under the administration of the immediate past governor, Abdul Fattah Ahmed. The audit report showed that in the past administration between 2011 to 2019, some actors allegedly looted public funds to the tune of 11.9 billion naira without any lawful tie to governmental projects or programs. The Kogi State Governor, Yahaya Belu, and former aspiring APC presidential candidate, is currently under an investigation by the Department of State Services, following an alleged video where he threatened to shoot anyone who projects criticism towards his administration. The video seen by senior intelligence officers is being investigated at the DSS headquarters in Abuja for further action. The video further revealed the braggadocious image of the governor, stating that he could handle a gun better than the people he was addressing, despite not being a security agent. The River State Chapter of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, has accused some of the officials of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps of extorting its members in the state. According to them, the extortion is ongoing despite the disbandment of the anti-vandal unit of the River State Command by the River State Governor, Nyesom Wiki. Following the illegal activities that had taken place in the state, of which accused personnel of the Corps aided and abetted the vandals and... Oitifs. It was also gathered by Sahara reporters that NSCDC officials randomly accused marketers of selling illegal petroleum products, thereby forcing them to pay thousands of naira. Some of the oil marketers who narrated their audio has accused Mr. Maduka and Mr. Okafo, who were both former members of the defunct anti-vandal team of leading the extortion ring, and one of the narrators said he recently was made to pay about 1 million naira, though an amount of 2 million naira was initially demanded by the extortion ring. Now to ICPC. Professor Bolaji Owasanoye, chairman of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Order Related Offences, ICPC, Speaking at a one-day event in Abuja on policy dialogue on corruption and insecurity in Nigeria, has stated that corruption by the military, the police and civil servants militates against peace and security in the country. He went on further to state that at face value, insecurity can be regarded as a matter requiring only a military response or reaction. But an in-depth look into the possible root cause shows that corruption is a major contributory factor to the continued existence and propagation of insecurity in the country. And a clinical diagnosis of insecurity menace in the country reveals that in order to effectively combat insecurity, the collaborative effort of security agencies as well as law enforcement and anti-corruption agencies is required. He made this call stating that research and investigation findings on public sector corruption 
directly and indirectly portrays that corruption is an enabler of insecurity, also pointing out that some former military and security personnel were being investigated by ICPC and EFCC for embezzlement of funds allocated for the security of the nation.